So it's been about four and a half, five years since I started to day trade actively. And at this point, I figured out where I make money and also where I lose money. So in this video, I'll share one tool that really helped me get an edge on the market. And I'm not kidding. This tool has made me more money than any other one that I've shared in the past. But before we do that, a quick reminder that all the best tools for day trading and investing will be linked in the description. Don't forget to check that out. Let's get started. So the tool we're going to be going over is called Newswear. So if you look at this website, you're probably asking yourself, what am I talking about? But this is a newsfeed. It's not a very marketed one or anything like that, but it's really, really good. It's really fast and it's quite simple to get it set up and it doesn't cost a lot of money. So I'll talk about all that later, but overall, I'll show you what's really important about this newsfeed and what setting I personally use to find the best trade most days. So when you open the platform, this is what it looks like. It doesn't look futuristic or all that fancy but the information that you're getting is really good for the price that it costs. It costs about 150 bucks a month or maybe a bit more, 160 or something like that. But overall, I wanna talk about a couple of things that are really important. When you're talking about news, it's really important that you look at what source do you have and what source are available. When we're talking about press releases, this is the news that company released themselves. So they publish it normally around 7, 7.30, 8, 8.30 and also 9. And after the close, it's going to be like 4 or 5, 4.30, 5, 5.30 and so on and so forth. This is the official press release. These press releases come through Access Wire, Business Wire, Globe Wire, and PR News Wire. So these are going to be your main source over here. There's one extra one that's quite important. It's called Dow Jones. This news feed or this feed normally is only going to be available to Reuters and also Bloomberg. So why I'm saying that Dow Jones is important is that we have your regular press release that are gonna make the stock move a lot. And I'll show you some filters that you can create in Newswear or maybe some other news feed that you have. But why Dow Jones is important, it's because it gives you article from the Wall Street Journal and other also sources. Plus, you're also going to get your analyst upgrade, downgrade and repost. So if there's a really hot press release, it's going to repost it very quickly. So it's going to help you filter out through all the noise that's happening in the morning. So let's look at the first example. So over here, what we have is SMCI. So on this particular day, it was at 1046 a.m. September 26. The Wall Street Journal released a post or a hit piece, I like to call them, that they were getting probed by the US SEC about financial fraud. And we can see that the stock went from 48 to 37. This is post split. It was much more than that pre split, but overall you get the principle. The stock really tanked and it was a great opportunity. Most traders are not going to be able to really take advantage of these news because they don't have the sources or they don't specialize in breaking news. Since I figured out what makes money in trading, for me, it has been news for the past year or a bit more. Um, I figured out that my discretionary trading is just not doing the same as it was in the past. So I really focus on speed and news. By the way, at any point during this video, don't forget to check out the links in the description. I did link all the best tools for day trading and investing. That includes my broker, scanner, newsfeed and all of the other stuff. So let's get back to the video. So let's go back into Newswear and let's talk about this SMCI. So to search up a ticker, you can just go over here, put the ticker you want. And we were talking about September 26. And here we go. We have it. So the news came at 1047. So if we really open it up, we're going to have it over here at 1047 and 21. This is where the news hit uh, on the Dow Jones feed. And now if we go look back at this SMCI, we can see over here that it hit on this. You were able to probably short it somewhere around here if you're human and you're not able to get the first print and you're catching a really, really big move that's in a matter of probably 10 minutes and you can make your whole day or your whole month. So what I like I'll to do is I like to go into alerts. Then over here, I'll just put something like WSG just to make it simple. And what I would look for is the feed. It's going to be SDG. So all the feed that you're seeing over here. So 
the press wire, globe wire, and all that, this is where you actually get it. So you're gonna have it right over here. You put your feed, you're gonna put N, and then you're gonna put your little brackets over here, Wall Street Journal, and then you're gonna have it like this, and just, you're just gonna press OK. And now you're gonna have all your articles from the Wall Street Journal. So you're gonna be able to filter with some other keywords. So if you want Wall Street Journal, and then you're gonna press OK, and then you're gonna have all the one that are saying that it's Wall Street Journal and bankrupt. So what you need to do is go search headline only so it doesn't look into the whole article. And then over here, we don't have anything because my normal search are not gonna be the whole feed to make it a bit lighter. And then I'll just put all data, and then I'll just go apply. And then we have all the one that are looking for bankruptcy. So we add FFIE and all this. So you're looking at setting up the newsfeed and also the keyword to make it simple. Uh, something else that I like to do is I like to go into uh, create list of stock. I like to trade press releases on small cap. So I like to create a list of stock. So over here, I created myself a topic. So you're gonna have a topic over here and then gonna be all the stock under 10. So I like to go on the NASDAQ website so I have it right over here. And what I would do on this website is just look at all the stock on NASDAQ, NYC, and Amex. You can put also a market cap. So you can put it over here. I want stocks only from, you know, Nano and also Micro. And then what you would do is just click apply. And then you're able to download the CSV. When you have your ticker list, you just need to copy and paste it over here. So what I do is I have a list of a bunch of low price stocks. Um, I have about, I think it's like 2000 ticker. I update the list about once a week or maybe once every two weeks. So then I have a list of stocks, small market cap and all that. So what I would do is I would put my PR. So these are gonna be all PR source. So these are topic that I created. So instead of creating a source, you can create a topic. And what I have over here, PR. So it's gonna be access wire, PR news wire, PN news wire, and also business wire. So I created a topic and whenever I go over here to create an alert, so alert, and then just put, I want my PR. So these are gonna be my source. So I'll just remove this. I want my PR and then I'll do stock under 10 because it's in my topic over here. I'll put, and I'll say, and I'll put this like this. I'll put billion, then I'll put a contract and then I'll close this bracket and then I'll just click add. And then we're gonna have over here, um, everything that says billion, right? Or contract, so, or this stock over here and a billion, and then you have this one over here and million. So these are gonna be significant press release. And then what you can do is just click, uh, you wanna separate it so you don't want it to be in link over this. You just click apply and then you're gonna have it on a separate window that you can put on a different screen. And this is quite important to do after, is just go into alert and just put some sound alerts. So it's a very good way to be creative and think about your trading and how to make money.